Hey everybody, Vince Valorn here. And me. And Grieve Valorn. Me. We're back with ma Duel 3 of uh, Round 4. It's Match 3 of Duel 4. You're wrong. Anyways, uh, I go second because he lost. Um, I actually picked two more cards. But, uh, I yeah. Lost. I, um, we'll watch. So he calls, goes for Stratos. <coughs> mm, excuse me. No. Yes. I think I have a Veiler in my hand. But, like, then I have, like, double Kinkabayu. He, he calls for a bubble. Really? That must mean he has a second E call. No. In his hand. I don't think he does. To get Stratos. No, he plays the T Kings. Oh, okay. Which, I mean, doesn't hurt. But, like, I draw another Kinkabayu. No, that's a Veiler. No, is that the Veiler? Yeah. I go for the, the him, reveal a heavy storm. So I pass it here. I think I have a battle picker in my hand. But uh, I, I made some bad side choices. Terrible side choices. Yeah, so this is this Also some grave grievous misplays on turn on the first round that could have won in the game. Yeah, this is kind of a a mix of all these bad things that happened. I swear. Okay, that's when I catch the Thunder King. <laughs> you should let it through and have him do a uh, match loss. I know, right? Nah, I'm not a dick. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit of a dick. Where's the fat guy with the little dick? It's funny because it sounds like the... Never mind. So he attacks with the... That card. What is that card? He chains MST to your MST. He attacks the Thunder King. I draw the Battle Fader. I draw Mystical Space Cyclone. Um, I think I have nothing in the hand right now. I go tour guide. I think, I, I think I'm trying to stall at this point because I don't have anything in my hand. He goes for the night ass. Yep, so I'm in the night ass. I like going night ass over uh, Sangin. See, I like going tour guide, tour guide, just so I have a floating Sangin if necessary. See, but that wastes it. It's like it's re that's a really good play if you have like a uh, if you don't Ally have... of Justice Birdman. Yeah, that's not Gen X Ally Birdman. Gen X Neutron Bird. So I go for him, and he negates it. Perfect. I go to defense, and I pass. Did you need Chaos Flutter at this point? Yes, I need Chaos Flutter. I banish the two, and I go for the Sork. I think I poke. Well, should you have waited no, to I go for poke. Sork? I probably should have. Because I believe he goes for a Bubble Man's Mass Change. Yeah, if you had waited, that honestly would have been better. Yeah. That was a bit of a misplay at that point. Depending on how the rest of this match goes, that might have actually been the, the defining moment. Yeah. So this is the point where we realize that he only gains the three of uh, the effects if he destroys spells. So I'm like, it, wait, wait. But you'll only lose 100, right? Yeah. No, I lose three. So he, he calls. Goes for the Stratos. Alias. Alias. Look the same, anyways. I cut the deck. And then. Yeah, I, I fix it pretty good. Yeah, if you had waited, that might looking at his hand, that would have been a better moment because it doesn't look like he had the spark. Yeah, see, why this, would you normal summon that? I know. I, well, hold on. I take it back. I, I complete. I'm like. Oh, and then I go synchro into this is probably a I th like that whole play right there. It just really I could I was what you could have done is special summon the chaos orc, banish him, set fossil dino. You would have yeah. lost your chaos orc, but you would have been fine otherwise. Yeah. And let's see how the rest of this goes because that might have one. No, that was that was the point where I lost. I think. Cause like, see, all he does here is just set back row and then set and play him. Like Tabs, that wouldn't, and then pokes for twenty six. Yeah, that was probably where the game was decided. Yeah. Cause I, do you have heavy storm in hand? Yes, I drew it. I play it now, I believe. Cause again, he had nothing. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like if you had done that differently, you would have been fine. Yeah, cause at this point, there's really nothing I can do. That's a pretty intimidating field. Not necessarily. Well, again, if you had the set false, false I know. You know. I, see, this is the point where I do set it. 
But I think it's too late at this point. Yeah, he's just gonna spark it away. Well, not spark it, he attacks into it, actually. But he rode us for Stratos. Now, if we go Stratos, then normal summon Stratos and overlay, you would have been. He was about to, but then he remembered I had Fossil Dyna. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like, overlay, 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 overlay. Out overlay. loud? No. <laughs> yes. So yeah, he goes with the ocean. I like ocean. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool card. He's a good feller. Yeah. Feller upper. Yeah, he feller upper. Like, does he actually touch the cards for an overlay? Ah, uh, no. He's, he's, I know he's thinking about it. So yeah, Fossil Dyna, pop that, swing, swing. Yeah, again, it looked like he had nothing but an E-Call that would have done any good, because you had the Heavy Storm. And then he main phase two Reborns, the Thunder King. Yeah, that play, if done differently, would have probably got you the game. I Piper. I'm... Then he hero blast. Oh, he has no targets for hero blast. Yeah, it'll still kill it. No, no, no. He has no targets to get from the graveyard. No, no. Hero blast will still resolve. No, 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 no. He needs to have a target, and that target's attack determines what you get. The target's attack determines what it kills. He needs to have a target for hero blast to even activate it. I thought it was just you got. No, um, no. He didn't have anything to add. No, you could still destroy without adding. No, the thing. when you add a monster, you destroy a monster with attack equal to that attack or lower. Mm. So yeah. Either way, it like it's looking yeah, downhill. Yeah, at this point, he goes for the, the Excalibur. Excalibur. I don't have a battle fader. I think I have a trag, but I wouldn't survive the drop. Yeah, yeah even I if shake he gets... and he wins. I oh, I'm so crushed. There were some mad misplays. That I was just. It was tiring. It was a long day. So, yeah, it looks like there were some key plays that he could have changed, but with all that happened, it was probably reasonable. I still got third. Yeah. But the mini rant. So what happened is we did not cut, as per usual with most tournaments, and this was the biggest one yet, still, Yeah. with 16 players. Last was 14. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but you got to realize we're in Central Oregon, which is a very small, small area of actual Yu-Gi-Oh players. But I think if we had cut to top four, it would have lessened the chance of the dead hands, and like, just it would have given more of a result of who actually topped. I'm not saying the people who topped shouldn't have. I'm just saying it would have given more consistent results. But yeah. that's enough of that. That's probably something for a video later on. Yeah. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed these the tournament results. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Yes, probably should share that to all of our videos, but nah. append this to all videos. So, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, remember, it's not the size of your deck that matters. It's what you put with it.